because we can't get enough of this yak, yak, yakking. We are live streaming after The View on Facebook, so post your comments and questions now, and we, we might read them later, and then again, we might not. <laughs> Do we ever get Keep to... Keep you guessing. We do. You know, you two, I have to say, that whole thing you did during the show about how close you are and everything, that annoyed me a little. Why? <laughs> are you jealous? Are you jealous? I was a little yes. jealous. It's oh. like, it's like, you know, what about the rest of us? You two are just, like, in love with each They're other like and the rest of us. They're like an island themselves. It's yeah, true. It's very that? exclusive. It was very clicky it's an and exclusive annoying. island. I, but we abuse each other, too. We fight about how messy the dressing Wait. room is. I wrestled her earlier. They do share do a dressing room. Do you guys really like lovers want, is what Do you want is. her to do what she did to me earlier today? No, before the show? So if she pinned me down on the ground, but it and was like siblings. It yes, was like it's like daddy and they issues. Do, they do <laughs> like dirty pranks in their in their dressing room to each other. Well, we yeah. hang things that are weird and we hide things from each other. You know what I think is your future? Do. Gay marriage. No, it's not <laughs> like that. A lot of people um, yell out things during sex. Mine is usually when you wake up. No. <laughs> <laughs> so the website broadly asked a sex therapist. The website's named Broadly. Look at the three of them. Oh, we're hungry. <laughs> so they asked why some women call their lover daddy. They, you know, who's your dad? They said that whole daddy thing. I like it when you call me Big Papa. You know the song. <laughs> Notorious B.I.G. He loved Biggie it. Biggie Smalls. Biggie Smalls. Yes, Joy. Biggie Smalls. <laughs> how, many, how many guys in here would like it if your significant other called, called you Big daddy. Papa or Big Daddy? You can admit it's a safe, Shut it's up. A safe <laughs> space. It's a safe space. <laughs> But it, it, it has nothing to do uh, with. Um... Oh. Yeah, are you married? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're not married. She knew. We won't show you on camera, but is there one one married person man in here that would like to be called daddy or papa? Oh, right here. Are. Oh. Is that your wife next to you? You've got she goes, we don't show She's you like, on camera. I already knew that. <laughs> But, it, you know, it has to do with, um, let's see, what did they say? It's about taking Submiss charge it's submission. in the sack. It's, it's about uh, wanting the man to take charge in the sack. Well, I have mm -hmm. a couple quotes from people mm -hmm. that posted on Redditor. I enjoyed calling my ex daddy because I thought it sounded hot. I don't have a father and I don't have daddy issues. Maybe she has daddy <laughs> issues because she didn't have a father. But maybe she missed that when she posted it. Okay. Um, another one is, Sir Master just doesn't have that same affectionate tone to it. Know what I mean? Oh, Some I like that. Some girls want to call their man daddy in a way that communicates she is submissive to your masculinity. But why is it daddy or Sir Master? Aren't there a lot of things in between? Like what? Yeah. Like baby or sweetie? Sex, or no, but those, 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 don't, those don't resonate. Those don't resonate. I, ha I had a moment. Do you of, call John daddy? Did you have a daddy moment? <laughs> Which question do you Paula, want me to answer first? Uh, wait, Paula, do you call John Daddy? Is this a safe space? Yes. <laughs> yes, it's safe. You do, don't no, you? No, I don't, actually. That's so no, nice. But I, but I did I, I did call him before the show, and I said, if I were ever to call you Daddy, hmm. would you like it? Would you like it, and why? And he said, because it symbolizes that the man's in charge, and he's a big deal. Oh, so, really? Yeah, the last I person may, I want to think about in the sack is my father. It's my father, I know. But it's not, it's not, Ew. you're not necessarily that's... thinking about your father. You're no, thinking about someone that's taking of my dad. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't. Uh, it doesn't well, make me hot and bothered it when I say either. daddy. I'm well, just what if you said? <laughs> maybe, when you take one, <laughs> maybe you take one for the team. Do you say, do you think of your dad when you say that or just your husband? L uh, Sarah, he's not on the show. Oh, sorry. Don't shoot. It's a Ask private Bri conversation. Ask, Ask Brian. Brian. Brian, you're on the show. What Are you, you going to get in trouble? Does Say your wife again? call you daddy? No. Would you like it if she did? No, I'm the father of daughters. It's creepy. Come on. Yeah. It it's, a, it, it's a safe it makes space. It creepy. Yeah. Safe space. Would you like it? You can no, be a little not bit? At all. No. Yeah. I got in trouble last week. I'm not talking anymore. <laughs> he really did. He get called him out on this show, and he got in trouble at home. With the, he, at home. he always does. He does. His he wife does. is very strict. She's good. She's more of the dominatrix, I think, in that relationship. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you call yeah, her that's daddy? gonna get me in trouble too. <laughs> <laughs> He's gotta deal with all to these call women. Me big mama. That's what I, I want. I don't want to be called big ever. I don't I don't want mama, daddy. I'm also very close to my father. I mean, I speak to my dad like probably every day. I know it's like and a sacred just the name. thought of saying the daddy or father. But you know what that goes against the other uh, wisdom, which is that women should initiate sex. And I be do that. the that's fine. Do you? Let's yeah. hear about all the that. time. I chase him around. Yeah, it's a hormonal thing. I think it's a phase I'm in. Yeah. Sarah, <laughs> when Sarah was your eight and nine months pregnant, she was chasing Max. Second around. trimester was really tough for me. That, really? That's, yeah, it's very hormonal, and I guess it's not sexy when you run around with a big belly. But like, I was 
I was having yeah. hormones, like, yeah. and so I just yeah. chased him around. It was I really. I think the sad. best sex I ever had was when I was seven months pregnant in a in a car called a Peugeot. <laughs> Yeah. A Peugeot, it's a French car that I yeah. had back in the day. This is a long time That's ago. That's hard to have sex in a Wait, car. Wait, I did, but that was before they had bucket seats when you could actually do it correctly. Yeah. <laughs> How do you do it in the, in the back of a car? Not in the back, in the front seat. But you did it in, wait, driver's seat or passenger? Well, you're lying down, aren't you? Across the driver's seat? Yeah. Was this with Steve? No, my first she husband. She was pregnant. I was pregnant. I didn't oh, have a baby aye, with Steve. Aye, aye. Yeah. Across yeah. seven months. It was a no, very okay, hot sorry, period. Sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. And he didn't care that I had a big belly. He liked that. I, I just got near Some guys really Some a very like pregnant that. woman means, hey, she did it once. She'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think strangers think that. Yeah. I never got cat called more than when I was pregnant and super curvy. Yeah. But my own husband was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Something's going on in there. It's delicate. Oh, like, well, he's yeah. a very first child. Yeah. You were, oh, you like, were you chasing did him. this to me. Like, yeah. But you were chasing him and he was running away from you. Yeah, I guess I scared him. <laughs> Should we take a, a question from the audience? Yeah. Yes. Here is Diego. Where is Diego? Hi, ladies. Oh, Diego. Hi, Hi Diego. Hi, Hi Daddy. That means. <laughs> <laughs> Well played. Diego does not mean daddy in Spanish. Hey, Papa. Yay. I believe daddy it. Diego. Doesn't Diego mean James in Spanish? It does. Yeah, it does. It means James. Weird, Wait, yeah. isn't it like San Diego, which means according no, that's to... Good. That's, totally that's Anchorman, and that the means Anchorman. the whale something. All right. Yeah. What's your question, Diego? Uh, I was wondering, what is the funniest thing that's happened to you during the holiday season? What is the what? The, the funniest, funniest thing. The funniest thing happened to you during the holiday, like when we thing? just did Thanksgiving. Did everyone get along their relatives? You I, have a, any I political could have played fight? A no political discussions. I had a safe room in my house. Oh yeah, tell us what yeah, happened. You yeah. said something about um, that. Um, you know, there there were there there are some Trump supporters in my family. Some of them voted for Trump, and um, my mom was like a little bit on a rampage. And I took her in the, to the corner and I said, "We're not going to do this." You gave her a timeout? Yeah, I said, we're not going to do this. <laughs> we just want to have a good time. Can we just please not so talk what about happened? politics? And so there was political discussion, but in an office. Oh, like, so off was there the any side. blood spilled? Any? How was it? A little screaming, but nothing horrible. <laughs> <laughs> nothing no, horrible? Like, like, you're an idiot, like, but nothing like yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah, I see. Because I think the more people that are involved, it gets yeah. to lose You have it. some issues. I have family, don't you? I have issues. <laughs> well, about politics. Politics. I didn't get, I didn't see my family. My family's in Michigan, so I had a Friendsgiving. But oh. This is the oh. third annual Friendsgiving. It's something funny that happened. That's nice. We've kind of tricked the children to think they're having turkey, but it's such a pain in the butt to make that we buy rotisserie chicken from Boston Market. And we really? Got, we and tell, you tell the, them it's turkey. And we tell the kids they're having baby turkey. <laughs> and we put it on the tray and we served it. And they believe it? They said oh, we're having baby, and they <laughs> ate it. We had oh, turkey a couple of years ago, and they didn't like it. So I said, well, we're going to get baby turkeys from now on. Boston Market is amazing. What's it wrong with it? It is amazing. You can Thank fry you. a turkey, though. You can fry a turkey. It's like is 15, this called 20 the white minutes. Fries? No. Is it's right? OK with this? We Jesus fried our so turkey. So can I say, that. I just got this message from my husband. Steve? <laughs> he says, what do you mean that was the best sex you ever had? Oh! Searching for a Peugeot. It was Explain the pregnancy. it to all of us, including Steve. I was talking Steve. about that period. The, from the day I, I, I met the first was to the divorce, that was the best sex uh, I ever had. Oh, that's not yes. how you prefaced it. No, that, uh, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. I it's understood after what that. you meant. You yes. got that, Steve, right? that had nothing to do with you, Exactly. Sweetie. Nothing. No. And it was all about righty, the pregnancy. Then. Ashley in the audience has a question. Where's Ashley? Hey. Oh, yeah. Hey. Um, I like that comedian who goes, hey. Yeah. What's her name? Who is that? Wendy Williams, hey girl, hey. She's on How you doing? Live. Yeah. Uh, no, go ahead. Okay. Should you get serious about somebody if you don't like their friends or family? Oh, if you don't like their friends, no problem. But family members, that's a problem because I really believe to have a successful partnership, you have to blend your families. I know. Uh, you, you know, do? you've got to blend your family. What are you supposed to do, Sonny? If you fall in love with somebody and he has hideous relatives. You, you, you have to deal with it. I mean, my mother-in-law gave me a real hard time when we got married. Why? You're like a catch. I thought so. <laughs> Wait, we, she, she gave me a really hard time. I mean, she even said to me, we played tennis one day together because I was trying to bond with her. And she says, you are a terrible... T she's from Spain. Anyway, I won't do her accent, but... She oh, that was she, good, though. Yeah, Keep she going, she, Sonny. That she's really like a she said I was a terrible tennis player, and then she said, and you have a very big forehead, which makes you unattractive. Oh, Never wear your what? hair back. She I said hope very you went to Thanksgiving things. every year with a pony 
tail. <laughs> she said very mean things to me, and it, it took about 10 years. We've been married 18 years. It took about 10 years for us to sort of... What did you say to her when she said you have a high forehead? So what? I said, I said, bangs. I said, I said it's to hide all my brains. Oh, that was good. <laughs> but it didn't go over well. It didn't go over well. And, uh, uh, it, but, <clears throat> but we've blended our families. I, I just think it's really important. You've, you had a, a, a tough in law Yeah, I mean, my mother in law too. and I, uh, Janet, I She's love lovely. her. She's lovely. She is lovely. We are the same person, though, and yeah. we're both incredibly stubborn, and we go head to head. I remember yeah. one time. So she, he married his mother. He kind of did. So <laughs> he, mommy, he issues. Issues. Mommy issues. That's right, yeah. right here. <laughs> no, I remember when yeah. she used to say, you know, you need to cook more for my son, and, and the, like we, but the thing about Janet and I, uh, we can have these open conversations yeah. and dialogue, and we disagree a lot, but. Yeah. I also respect that it's my husband's mother. It's his, yes, it's his mother. Yes. So, and I know having boys, I'm going to be incredibly protective of my sons too, mm -hmm. to a point where I'm probably not thinking clearly. Yeah, but so those, I have to take that into those consideration. Those girls are lucky that they get you, because you're going to be fun. Really? Um, but I would ask it like these how two close... are in love, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That wine. Uh, the the <laughs> person you're seeing is to their family, because for me, like uh, my mother-in-law is unique. Uh, that's a good way to put it. Um, but. She's unique and special, and, and but <laughs> he's not that close with her, and so that's helped because I can uh, I I clearly remind him all the time of the importance of that relationship and the one now that we have a baby. But he's not that close, so it makes it actually okay. So yeah. it really depends on their relationship. If he had a problem with my family, that would have been a deal breaker because I'm super close with all of them, yeah. and they're all sorts of crazy. But, but I love them. You have to kind of blend them. The, but the friends, I kind of feel like the friends, the friends uh, but the family. Because family. If, if there's a divide, then neither of you are going to end up with it. But make sure with, he's close with them. Because did be, you ever have, have a family, separation. a family in-law well, issue? Well, the first marriage, <clears throat> his mother was dead, thankfully. Oh. <laughs> she means. <laughs> He's a mother-in-law if he she can lives avoid in a better it. Place. Oh, and the no. second, no the second, Steve's mother lived in Florida, so I never saw her. So it was oh. really easy. So it was Steve's easy watching. So I know his mom was really lovely. And she was very nice, but she wasn't totally. in this state, so I love that. Yeah, yeah. You I like don't that. need to have a mother-in-law if you can avoid it. Yeah. Now I happen to be a fantastic mother-in-law. Just ask my son. Yeah, about my my mother is a great mother-in-law. I don't bother him. I do nothing but give, give, give. I'm but a would you be person. the same with a daughter-in-law? Lady on lady action. Uh, with my son, if I had. If you had a daughter-in-law. I don't know. I yeah. never had it. I have a grandson now, so who also will obsessed with him, but that's a boy. Yeah. yeah. My my mother is a great mother-in-law. That she 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 uh, they gang up on me. My mother and my my husband. Oh yeah, I wouldn't have gotten yeah. over the forehead thing, but I know the forehead thing was out of control. It's Do, uh, we have three. Tick we have a two minutes. Substantial reason you you suck at it tennis just, and your forehead's bad. You have a very smooth. Me. Do you want to do you want to do another topic? We have a little yeah, time. Okay. Smooth. So actress Jessica Chastain, she's lovely. You know who she is? Yes. Uh, she says that she can't believe that during the debates Hillary Clinton was criticized for being overprepared. She asks, what's wrong with being ambitious or one step ahead? She also wow. never heard a man criticized for that. You think this, we always hear this about a woman's ambitious. Mm -hmm. Are you ambitious? Do you feel yourself uh, ambitious? Yeah, I'm, I'm super type A, so I would have gone to that <clears> debate <throat> like super overly. Type a? Super type A. What? Like, like you're A squared, 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 yeah, squared. I'm like type A, I'm a Virgo, really? and I, I over-prepare. Really? I never see that. That's my husband. It's yeah. obsessive. You seem like very easygoing. No. Everyone loves no. you. I'm like a diligent, because I was never the smartest one in the room, but I worked harder than everyone else. Yeah. And, and that's why work. I did well, because I just was I was always... the opposite. I was the smartest one in the room. <laughs> I think women are, are held to different standards, right? Kidding. Women Write that held, down. I'm just kidding. Women are held to different standards. It's, yeah. it's seen as, as a negative when you're perceived as overly ambitious. Well, you think about it. If you have a male boss and if you have a female boss, and if the male boss is really assertive and has no problem firing people and yells and runs, I mean, that's, it, you know, runs around the office, yeah. um, maybe more of like a dictator or what have you. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, he's being a man. He's yeah. being strong and he's leading. Yeah. But if a woman were to do that, She's I mean, biatch. yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So yeah. it, there is a, a double standard, but I, you know, and not in defense, but I think that women can be the toughest critics of other women of as other well. Women. Yeah, that's women, true. For sure. So mm. I don't think that that yeah. criticism is necessarily coming from a necessarily a sexist place from just 
a male origin, but I think women can be very, very tough on our Okay, enterprise. we're going to end on one more audience question because we're almost done. But okay. I don't want to end on that note. Let's hold Denise in the audience has a question. Oh. Hi, Denise. Hi, Denise. Hi, ladies. Hi. How are you? Hi, Denise. I'd like to know what is your favorite thing to splurge on? To splurge on? Oh. Mine is a massage. Spa treatments. Spa, it's massage, yeah. nail, nails, and, and the leg. Oh, I love it. Mine's full body massage, deep tissue, maybe a little facial. Oh. Shoes not and, your face. Uh -huh. Shoes and bags. I was going to say, I know you're a shoe gal. She's huge. I like shoes and bags. Your bag. That's, I like shoes and bags. I have to hide purchases. Yeah. Oh, you're, I you're a shopaholic or something? I'm not a shopaholic, but I like a good bag and a good pair well, of shoes. Well, who doesn't like I a good bag? I try to buy one, like, every year. She's like Carrie from Sex and the City. She like, really you have is. good stuff. How about yeah. you, Missy? Uh, definitely a full body rub. My husband tells me all the time I would take a, um, like, a massage from a homeless person. I just want anybody to rub me. <laughs> I just want to be rubbed all the time. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Experience all the time. the best. For you. Yes. Will you rub my arm? <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Well, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> <laughs> Except thanks for hanging around with us after The View, and don't forget to hit us up on Twitter and Facebook. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs>